welcome to another episode of Tech Team GB. Today we'll be looking at the NZXT Havoc 140. Now, yet again, we'll be looking inside my PC. That's because this is yet another one of my parts. Just take my side panel off. Um, this is what happens when you get way too many fans and then you, you get bored or you can't mount them. I'm going to disconnect that one as well. Yes, I have three blue LED fans. In fact, actually I have four. But anyway, so this is the cooler here. Let me just move the camera. Yaddy da da. Hey, presto. Right. So this is a single tower air cooler. It does come with two fans. Uh, on my board, because I was silly and bought very high profile Vengeance gaming RAM, uh, I can't actually fit the other fan on. That is a bit of a problem. Now, the fa this uh, cooler uh, can fit on any socket. It fits, as far as I know, it fits 2012 uh, all through to 775. And it fits AM3 Plus all the way to AM2 and all the Opteron numbers. Uh, it comes with an extremely terrible, terrible thermal paste. Uh, very generic, but it does come in a tube instead of a you know, sachet. Or sachet, if you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you in, have a quick look. So mine is fairly dusty, but it's a single tower, as I mentioned. The CPU is down there. Now the mounting mechanism, I don't know if it's if I did it wrong or if I'm just an idiot, but the mounting mechanism is slightly awkward. So in there, there is what happens is you don't have the uh, fans installed. You have to remove your RAM and have the system off. But you put the back plate on, then you assemble this. Um, sort of arc there you go um, put that back in the triple board uh, you have to assemble this mounting mechanism so on the back uh, they have this seriously uh, annoying because of this case uh, they have a back plate that fits all sockets now on the back plate you need to put on some stickers or something um, to make sure that it doesn't short the, uh, the back of your motherboard out um, but because the CPU cutout on this case isn't actually really big enough for that it was quite a procedure to get it in uh, then once you do that you put the uh, screws through the back and uh, you put these then you put the bracket that's this sort of square but it's uh, bent slightly uh, over the top, then you put four thumb screws, which you tighten uh, diagonally to make sure that it doesn't break the board. Uh, once those are nice and tight, you can then put your thermal compound on your CPU, uh, put the cooler on, seat it properly. You can mount it only this way, um, so air has to be blowing either this way or this way. Obviously because you have an exhaust here normally, um, it's advised that you take the slightly warmer air from your case and blow it out. Um, and obviously any heat dissipation from the top here will be dissipated by any fans you have at the top. Uh, so once you've got the CPU cooler mounted on, you have to put this little bracket through. Now, annoying thing about this bracket is that it screws up, it has two uh, thumb screws that are spring loaded so you have to you you have to be able to do them both at the same time and on the bracket that you build which is here uh, on either side they have two pins which it screws onto but I actually had to bend my bracket outwards so that I could put the CPU cooler on my case was on its side uh, to push down as hard as I ca could on both pins to get one of them in, then push his heart, held one in, pushed the other one in, and then screwed it in. Uh, so it was quite a, a dramatic procedure to get on. Uh, now, I did mention that this can have two fans, so 
give you the best possible shot of that one. So this is a 140mm NZXT fan and the strange thing is that unlike the Noctua where it's held on by metal brackets, this is held on by plastic brackets. So these you just pull over, so I'm trying to get my hand in. So if I were to show you this properly, this little tag here goes over onto this groove, sits in, and then the, I don't know if you can see that, but all along here, uh, there's a rubber band. Now, I have been a bit silly and bodged one of them here. So this is the bracket, this is what you uh, put onto the CPU cooler. So just give you a look in there. There's my bodged fan. Uh, 120mm, I think they spin at about 1200 RPM. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's about right. Um, and also one thing to note, you can mount them both ways as they do have two holes. So one if you want to mount it that way, one if you mount it that way. Uh, that's what goes through. Focusing. There you go. That's what goes through the hole uh, and it's held on fairly tightly. Uh, there's one on either side. Uh, six heat pipes. Uh, try to think of what else I know. Uh, there's I can't remember how, fin how many fins there are. I think there's about 50 something. Uh, they go all the way across, and it's very, very good if you don't use standard thermal paste. All right, now I'm gonna jump up onto the desk. All right, so I'm in Prime 95. Uh, see that there. I got YouTube open behind because I'm uploading a video and I was on Skype to Tom, let's just minimise that. Alright, so I'm going to run a torture chest, uh, torture chest, torture test, and let's run blend. So, click OK, and we're going to do that. I'm going to open up AI Suite 2 because that's what I have. There it is. So there we go, CPU is at 38. 40. So this is 100% load. I'll just prove that by showing my uh, CPU and RAM things. Mm. 42, 43. This is my processor is a AMD Bulldozer FX8120 clocked at. Um, I keep changing it. Hold on. Clocked at. This is the point where my, yeah, clocked at 3.1 apparently, 3.4, that's right. So it's at 3.4 gigahertz, uh, it's climbing 46, uh, I'm going to come back after I've run for a fair amount of time, um, alright. Alright, so I've been running for around about half an hour, I didn't take precise note. But Prime 95 is still going, uh, and we're at 52. Now, considering I'm running this with one fan, uh, and one fan sort of blowing coldish air onto one side lightly, um, and I'm running the stock thermal paste, and probably not enough thermal paste either. <laughs> um, 52 is pretty good. So I'm at 1.36 voltage, 1.368 to be precise, and it's staying at 52. It hasn't gone up or gone down from 52 for a while now. So that is pretty much it. So I'm going to uh, show you one last thing in the PC, then I'll do a conclusion. Alright, so here's my one last thing. As you can see, I have terrible cable management, but I would like to just point out... You can't see anything. That's rubbish. Anyway, um, the cable that comes with the fans is extremely short, but it is sleeved, which is quite nice. Um, there's one there as well. don't know if you can see that. Uh, sort of covering lights. Anyway, um, oh yeah, there's also a... Uh, splitter so if you put one 
If you put the splitter into one fan header, you can connect both fans to it, which does extend the length of the cables. Alright. Alright, so quick conclusion of the Havoc N sorry, NZXT Havoc 140. Uh, for £56, it is an amazing value cooler. Um, it's one of the best air coolers that I can think of. Obviously there's the Noctua NHD14, that's a dual tower. Um, but still, this just is brilliant. I mean, I'm still running Prime 95 uh, and it's only just jumped up to 53. Um, <laughs> I must note that I am running this with the side panel off so there isn't any air going in from the side so there's a possibility that it could actually be cooler if I had the side panel on. Anyway, um, brilliant cooler, I'd say definitely 9 out of 10, if not 10 out of 10 for performance for an air cooler. Obviously there is the option of water cooling, but water cooling, uh, the cheapest and best water cooling solution uh, for around this price is the H60 uh, from Corsair, and the H60 does not compare. Um, this blows it away. This compares to the H100 which is around 80 to 90 pounds. So as you can see a fairly big price difference. I should also mention that the 56 quid is with is with postage and packaging as well. Um, so yeah overall 9 out of 10. Brilliant cooler. Uh, nice one NZXT. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.